free the herb and heal the nation. Yes, I want to take Queen Trees. Thank Queen Trees for taking the time. And as a man as in More love, more strength. But we're moving, you know, we'll continue the pace. Continue the journey. We're going straight in Ghana right now, okay? Now my people, we got to legalize it. Yeah, man, our next special guest on the program go by the name of Banjo Aya. We must utilize it. Why not industrialize it? Now just let me smoke and abuse and what about the many benefits of supply? Sounds a bunch of eyes. But why do you criminalize? Chuck Tycho legalize it. People, we gotta legalize it. For the healing of the nation. Now criminalize it. Now my people, we gotta legalize it. No, 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 no. We must utilize it. Why not industrialize it? Time now, them birds in the stop going like say, I demo who on the plant, you know. No, people, we gotta legalize it. What the plant do, no, some more than eel and put money in our pocket. Criminalize it. Oh, no, I want, hey. We gotta legalize That's why the youths, them now, stop make them type of song, you know. No, 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 no. Why do you criminalize it? No, no, my people. And you know, so we don't know further that the Leo want to introduce Banjo Eye to the Mindset Program. Blessed love. I'm a Blessed love. Your greetings, I just star. Yes, my general. Greetings, I'm like live radio. <laughs> <laughs> you say you know one got jail, so them for legalize it. See me. <laughs> <laughs> they want to legalize it. Why do you criminalize it, my people? You got to legalize it for the healing of the nation. I don't want to go down a jail. So whether I like it or not, I've got to hide it. But this is just another plant we I create. So if I've got to this, guys, this. 
then what's about it? Why do you criminalize it? Legalize it now for the healing of the nation, my lad. I tell the people, I tell the government, I tell my big man, my lad. Legalize the herb, a natural data creation. Rastafari, uh, why you think them fight against the herb so much? Why, why you think there's a, a fight? Why you think they don't want people to well, s- to smoke it I, and use it? Well, marijuana is a is a spiritual plant. Marijuana is an industrial plant. Marijuana is, is a healing plant. Marijuana is is like the greatest of oil, my lad. And and the people them know. I you know, when we look at the bigger picture, we just see it as um you know, just part of the control system, just a way of keeping, you know, the people them hungry and, you know, still having that control over them and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, because when marijuana is legalized in Africa, a lot of people will be free. A lot of people will get jobs to do. A lot of people, you know, will be healed from all of the cancer and glaucoma and, you know. So we need it. We need it to be legalized. We need it to be legalized. We don't need it to be criminalized, not for any reason. The stigmatization has to be taken off. The, the, the negative vibe around the plant has to be taken off. We have to free it and use it for its, its industrial purposes the more. My lad, bless. Yes, I, yeah, man, give thanks. And your fee say, um, because you, you're, you're in Ghana, in West Africa. Right. Um, Definitely, my lad. You, you, you feel that um, the, 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 the government there is doing is doing much to um, bring bring the plant into full legalization we see it happening to uh, we see it happening in South Africa recently right you think um, the Ghanaian government is doing enough to really um, legalize the plant? Well, uh, I just, uh, I, I can't say the government is doing enough because as I speak with you even today, my Rasta, my Rasta, Rastafarian brethren them are going on a demonstration, you know, to, 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 to send a petition to the government to legalize the plant, you know, and this, this is all simply because we are doing the, the songs and, and, you know, people are advocating for it, but the government just seems to have paid a deaf ear. To our cry to our call nobody seems to be listening nobody seems to be saying anything about the legalization of marijuana it isn't getting that much attention my lad and you, you think that um the the whole um colonial the whole colonial structure you think that's the reason why that the Ga- the Ghanaian government still um following western influenced by 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 criminalizing the plant well i think to a large extent yes because um i don't see any reason why the herb should be used by people who don't want to legalize it mm-hmm. Rastafari. i don't see i don't i don't i don't see the reason why you know, a plant, a plant that a lot of people know it's it, it's good uses. It's being subdued. It's being treated like like a drug, like cocaine, like heroin, like mm. you know, it is serious. And this is a plant that that we can build houses from. This is a plant that we can get hemp create from. This is a plant that can give us medicine. You know, CBD oil for for cancer, for for glaucoma, and all of these things. This is a very nutritious plant, food-wise. Fiberglass so can be made from this plant. And a whole lot, shoes, clothing, and a whole lot can be made out of this plant. And there is so much unemployment in Africa. There is so much, so much unemployment in Ghana, which is the reason why crime rates are so high. So if there is an option of planting a plant like marijuana, which we have so much land to plant. The land is there. We have so much land to plant marijuana in Africa and in Ghana, my lad. So what is preventing us? Great what question. What is preventing us from legalizing and freeing the herb? Mm. 
Colonial Stronghold. Colonial Stronghold. Yeah, man. Um, I know, I know in, in Ghana that there are, right. there are probably certain radio stations that this song would probably never, would never play on because, because it'll talk about, you know, ganja. As an artist. Well, definitely. As a, as, as an artist, what, what are your view upon that? You know, as, you know, someone that is up and coming, you know what I mean? And you want your music to be heard and you have a good, um, strong, positive song like this. You know, why your view upon that? And, you know, it's it, it's playing overseas, you know, here on Amlock Live Radio and probably other radios. Mm. Mm. My lad, um, you see, there are people, even down here in Ghana, there are platforms that play my song, legalize it. And there are platforms also that do not play it for their own reasons. And the only reason why they will tell you they can't play it is, you know, when... And, and my boss will talk and blah, blah, you know, that kind of vibe. The, the people just don't want to hear anything about marijuana. When they hear marijuana, they see a hooligan. Anytime they hear anybody talk about marijuana, they see a criminal, they see a radical, they, they see a hooligan. But marijuana must not be tagged with hooliganism and then criminalization and all of these things. This is just a plant. We are only advocating for what we think will help us as a people. So in terms terms of music that has that content not being played in Ghana, I don't think it is it, it is in the right a step in the right direction. It is one of the worst things that the media can ever do to any artist because this is a plan of the unemployed youth on the street. So it should be played. We should advocate for it. The song should be played. Legalized by Banjo is being sidelined on certain platforms and radio. Most of the people who play legalize it in Ghana. Uh, you know, the typical reggae dance shows that we have in Ghana. King Lagazi plays it. A couple of other people, you know, in Ghana play it. But apart from my Rasta people, <laughs> regular masses just don't want to hear anything about the legalization of marijuana in a song. And I don't think it is right. Um, well, I am an up-and-coming artist, yes. Yeah. I need a platform. But I think the right thing should still be done. Yes, I definitely without 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 a doubt. You know what I mean? Without a doubt, because um that's stigmatizing. So um people who smoke or use marijuana, then you know, you're probably gonna you know, probably gonna find most young youth and, 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 and Rasta people I uh, use marijuana. So they are looked upon as as, as criminal because they smoke it. That is the type of stigma. Mm. Yeah, man. Them thing that yeah, them thing that for cut out still. Yeah, man. Um, talk to me about it's getting into right. getting into the music. You know, I know we are talk about um the thing where the people them not like them not like here about marijuana. So, but what kind of those um? It's it. It's it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all about right, um, right, you right, know right. get getting into um reggae music and thing. Or 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 how do I find love for reggae music? You know, being so far, but knowing that you know it's, it's a global and it's a international um music. You know. Bless well, um, as an as an artist, yeah, come on, as an artist from Ghana and from Africa, um, reggae music shouldn't have been, you know, the type of music that I should have been doing because we have local genres of music that most of us growing up listening to, like high life and, you know, hip life and all of those, those genres of music, which is very local and the people are very familiar with. But with Banjoi, what happened was, I grew up with, with a father who was a lover of reggae music. And I wake up and then I, 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 hear, I hear that playing, you know, Bob Marley and Jimmy Cliff and Peter Tosh and all of these songs. In his ghetto blaster, shabarangs, and uh, bands, and all of that, you, you know, during my early days. So, growing up as a kid in itself, reggae music is a type of music that I listen to most of the time. So, my love for reggae music grew up, grew at, at a very tender age, you know, 
And then sometimes I'll get beaten by my dad for sneaking into his wardrobe to pick up cassettes of, you know, <laughs> to listen to and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. lucky to be and, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. So it, it's, it's just been the love of it because the people around me at the time, you know, the, the, the man at the time that I would say I was looking up to, which is my daddy, was a lover of reggae music. And that is where my love for reggae music grew from. Rastafari, yes, I and 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 you know who 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 really influence you, you know who really stand out. I know that all some of the names them where you call are some big artists, but who really um stand out for the eye? Wow. Well, um, <laughs> for this question, I can't really mention just just one <laughs> artist because um, um, even generally, I love music. You know, apart from reggae music, I yeah. love pop. I love I love our local kind of music. I love um you know country music R and B and all of that. But with reggae music, number one, Bob Marley. Number two, two Lucky Dube from South Africa. Number three, Peter Tosh. Then Buju Banton and Shabarangs. It naming on and on and on up down <laughs> to even reggae dancehall, alkaline and popcorn. Just coffee, just name it. I'm just a lover of reggae music. Rastafari, yes I. All right, yeah. So there I grew up. There I grew up listening reggae music. There, I, there, I, father was a uh, a uh, a big love of the genre. Zina, no, there, I, there, I, there is no pursuing pursuing um a journey as a reggae dancer artist. Um, tell me about the the tell me about um. The, the 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 scene now in 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 Ghana because you know we know that um you have two two really major artists in Ghana right now which is um Stone Boy and mm. and Shatawali. you know different mm. from that you know what 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 is scene like you know in 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 terms of reggae music now in Ghana well it it's good. It it's it's really impressive because um I personally as Banjo I I I always prayed for a day that will come when reggae dance and music will be like on top. Because at the time when we loved reggae music, most of the people were just following other genres of music that were popular at the time and we were just following, you know, the reggae fans were just a small sector at the time. But right now reggae dance is so big, it has become so major. Reggae dance hall music from Ghana has taken this country to the BET. Reggae dance hall has taken Ghana to the Grammys, in a Grammy or beyond. Who knows? So the genre has gotten so big. And being a part of it feels, feels you know, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. It's a blessing to, feel, to, to, to be a part of this journey. Yes, sir. It's a big blessing. Yeah, man. And it's great. It's, it's great. Life. It's great to have you on the program. The last year, I know, you know, it, it's always special to have, um, you know, a brethren or a sister, you know, coming out of Africa and and doing this type, doing this type of music, and you Sorry. know, really understand, um, you know, what the music really stand for, you know, what I mean, and not ju- just trying to piggyback yeah. the music, you know, what I mean. Sorry, blessings to the whole wide world. Yes, I. Yes, I. All right, all right. Um, the 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 I, the I um, we recently see the I am um, performing um live at um one a one a one a Ghana major TV station. That must be a big thing for the I, knowing that um, you know the I coming from where you're coming from and now and 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 a platform like that. Talk to me about the experience there. Yeah man, it, yeah man, it's it's a good feeling, you know. TV three, TV three, for so many years has been like the number one radio, uh, the number one TV station in Ghana, which which radio stations part of the same company that company that are also number one. It is like top three major media houses in Ghana. TV three is a part of it, and to be on that platform is a blessing because names that go 
go onto that platforms and on small names, A list. Yes. That is why. So, Bandrai being on that platform, it's a great feeling. I feel so blessed to be have been given that opportunity to bless that stage. And I know it is the beginning of great things to come on my journey up. It's a good feeling, my lad. And give thanks to the people and for the support and everything that was able to take us that far. As of now, we know greater is yet to come, my lad. We give thanks for the love. Yes, I. Every time. Yes, I. And we love to see that. You know what I mean? We love to, we love to see that because we know that the 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 energy zine that is coming out of Ghana, you know, I know different places in Africa, but especially from out of Ghana where you are, you know, is a high yes, level uh, 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 um reggae and dancehall, you know, is coming is coming yes, from out there. All right, yes, you 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 get to where you are now, zine. Mm. Talk to me about um, getting getting your music, you know, played before you even start to go on, um, you know, these 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 other um, stations, you know, because I know as an up and coming artist, you know, one of the the, the the most important thing is to really get your music heard. Talk to me about um, getting your music right. played on the radio station, them, you know, at first, you know, how, how receptive people was are, you know, it, did you have to, you know, peer people are, you know, or 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 how it really go? Well, uh, it, it's quite tough to say, uh, especially as an up and coming artist, you know, um, it's it's quite tough to get, you know, your music played on mainstream radio, let's say, but um, every time I just wake up to, you know, a new blessing of maybe you know, somebody play my music somewhere that, and I think if if the people love the music, I I love good music. So when I do music, I just make sure that I put my best into it, and I do good music. And I'm not only I'm not the only lover of good music. The DJ who plays the song also loves good music, just like the fans and everybody else. Yes. So so. So to have my song on this big platforms, the first thing that I think of is doing good music. And I think so far, that is what is giving me maybe an opportunity or an upper hand over maybe a few other artists who may also be in the same genre as myself. And I get my music played on platforms by you know, people that I've not met before. And it feels so great. I feel so blessed to have because it doesn't just happen like that. You need to go and see the company. You need to see particular people. Sometimes you need to pay for promotion and all of that. That is how it goes down here. So to wake up and to find people play your music just for the love of it or because somebody has introduced it to them and they just fall in love with it and play your music, it's a great blessing. But the hustle is real. The hustle is real. And I wish, I wish, you know, the system could be a bit more flexible for us to, you know, be able to promote our songs and put it, you know, up there for everybody to be able to know that this is what we have for you, you know, because it isn't all of the time that, you know, hello? Yeah, man, me there, man. May I listen to you, man, attentively, man. I'm listening, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, because, listen to you, man. Yeah, man. So, so, so th that is how it goes down here, my lad. You know, promotion is difficult. You don't, you don't easily get your song played on radio. You don't easily get your songs played on radio. But we give thanks for the love. The love is keeping us going, my lad. Rastafari. Give thanks, Steve. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yeah, man. All right. I hear the eye loud and clear. I want to drop one more of the eye song before um, we see you. We have 15 more minutes left on the program, yeah, and um, I want to play this song, yeah. Mm. Yeah, man, I'm representing Amlock Live Radio, you know. 
are the truth, are the truth. We dare our step ahead and we now reverse. We now look back and we wish one of you not to be our step ahead and we now. May I tell you straight from out of Ghana. Banjo I in I. Yeah man, I saw him name Banjo I. Him up and coming in. We are one step ahead. And we now we do. Yeah man, now nah reverse. We said they got Toyota, the elements of surprise are the truth, are the truth. We they are one step ahead and we now nah reverse. We now look back and wish one of you not some day I want to step ahead and we now nah reverse. We now look back, now nah look back, one step ahead and we now nah reverse. We not look back and no response for not top day. I want to stay by it and we not reverse. One say, no nah, reverse, none at all. And right. them say, they got to you to the element of surprise or the truth. In my giddy and boots and in my khaki suit. When we fling out, we fire bad my name to boot. Cause we know the roots and we tag the truth. Them on a hooligan, see them white you root. But it's the circumstance and the neighborhood. When me bust me gun and me break the rule. Still me know the we the the whole on. Man say, yo. No one pick up him gun and bust it and break the rules, you know. So they are them going to have to free up things, you know. Mr. Brown. Make things more flexible, see? When them say they got all your daddy, I... Yeah, man, don't force the youths them to the limit where them have to do certain things, all right? Step ahead and we now reverse. We don't look back and wish one of you not some day out. Them say prevention is better than cure. Whoa, 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 I tell you. Straight out of Ghana. Yeah. We day out one step ahead. Just a brown. And we now we do. I say a quab as in. Them say they got all you to the island. One welcome to all. Are the truth. All right. We day I want to step ahead and we now reverse. We now look back and wish one of you not some day I want to step ahead and we now reverse. We now look back, now look. Dark room entertainment. And we now reverse. Jaff Flames the large up in her. Back and no response for not some day. Extreme reggae and dance hall. Reverse. Dan Crosses, Anna's and Manners. When them say they got to you to the element of surprise or the truth. In a me giddy and boots and in a me khaki suit. When we fling out, we fire bad my name to boot. Cause we know the roots and we tag the truth. See man a hooligan, see them white you root. But it's the circumstance and the neighborhood. When me bust me gun and me break the rule. Still me know the run from the good. We day I want to step ahead and we now reverse. We now look back and wish one of you not some day I want to step ahead and we now reverse. We never look back, not look back. One step ahead and we now reverse. We now look back and wish one of you not some day I want to step ahead and we now reverse. We now look back, yeah. Number of times you rise, so when you fail in doing once you got to do it twice, then say life is full of lies. Yeah, this shit has got us To you to the elements of surprise or the truth In a me giddy and boots and in a me khaki suit When we fling out we fire bad my name to boot Cause we know the roots and we talk We are one step ahead and we now reverse We now look back and wish one of you not some day I want to step ahead and we now May I tell you one step ahead and we now reverse Banjo I Yes sir my lad Yes sir big sign Respect you know. and manners 
Big, big song, big, big song, big song. May I tell them one step ahead of them and we're not reverse. <laughs> Give thanks, my lad. Tell me about creating Give a thanks, song. My lad. Hello? Hey, me I say, tell me about creating the song, you know? Why it's inspired, coming in my lad. Why inspire the IFA arm? You know, do a song <laughs> like that. Well, <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, I'll be a real story, man. You know, basically, um, one step ahead is, is, is a motivation to myself and a motivation to every youth out there or anybody out there who is hustling with their dream or with anything that they want to achieve. You know, at one point, I just looked into my life and I was like, yo, bird in sickness and pain were there. And whichever way we've moved a step further, it's, it's better than before. So at one point, I, I had a reading, first of all, a promoter sent the reading to me. And at the era, that was the bad way we are one step ahead and we are not going back. Even though it is tough, even though it is getting difficult, we are one step ahead and we are not getting back. Whichever one step ahead, even one step ahead of variations, one step ahead of bad man, one step ahead of any negativity, one step ahead of him, and we now reverse forward ever up of success. When I look back, <laughs> yes, I, yeah, man, strength, 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 strength. And oh, oh, well, this song, oh, well, this song is doing because I know a lot of I want to play this song, you know, a whole heap of people can really relate yes, I, to it, you know, oh, well, this song is doing. Yes, I, well, well, I can say one step ahead is, is um, one of the few songs, you know, um, that I, I, any platform that I get to people sing along, it's like, it's one of my major songs, even here in Ghana, you know, and even, you know, it's one of the songs that fascinates me a lot, because this is reggae music, so to have reggae music being accepted by, you know, the ordinary, regular, high life and hip life fans on the street, and for them to sing along it like this. You know, it's it's quite different and it's quite fascinating, but that is the reality of it. The people just love one step ahead, whether they are reggae fans or not. They love this particular song, and it's a blessing. You think this, this song, song is a blessing is, to me, my lad? You think this song is your biggest song yet? Well, it is it, it is one of my biggest. I I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> I, I can talk about the future, but for now, One Step Ahead is like one of my biggest songs when it comes to especially reggae music. One Step Ahead is one of my biggest songs currently. People just love the vibe. Give thanks. People them just love the vibe. Rastafari, yeah, man, we love that. We love that. Yeah, we love to um hear um good positive song. And, you know, you were saying earlier one 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 of the thing that really get your music play is, is is because you do good music so what the i talk about when you say good music what you talking yes, you're talking about the content of the music that you're putting out there yes I, to, to me good music is content good music is positive music good music is uplifting music New, good music is, is is you know good vibes good vibes basically the music the rhythm can, can be as sweet as whatever, but if the content, if the lyrics is not positive, if the lyrics doesn't make people good people, doesn't make them better people, then I, to me, it isn't good music. Good music must uplift the soul. Good music must, must make you a better person. So, all right, what do you think about some of the... Some of the some music of the is music. spiritual, you know. Music can move people to do things beyond their, you know. So, if... Music is that powerful. Then the music must be positive to make people better people. That is my ideology of music. That is how I think of music when I'm writing music or I'm doing music. If music can, can if Bob Marley was able to make peace in Africa with the music, if Tupac Shakur in, in the U.S. was able to get the streets to be rebellious and do this and that with music, if, you know, music has been able to make people do things, music has created scenarios. So... If I am a musician and I want to make a positive impact in society, then I should make positive music. 
good lyrics, uplifting lyrics, educative lyrics. I should be able to teach the people the truth that I have learned and discovered and realized myself. So that what? is my ideology of music, positive music. So, all right, I hear you there, you know, but you know there's a flip side to that because you also have, you also have negative um, songs and as I said, the music influence people and you really have to make positive music that's going to influence people and lead them definitely the right what you think about some of the artists them that is major out there and 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 the music some of the music that they do is is on a derogatory turn you know what i mean and 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 it influence you know the people them to you know conduct themselves a certain way what what, what you think about some of those um lyrical content that some of these major artists put out Yes, I my lad. Um, everybody has has the way they want to project themselves and the, the way they want to do things. And we can't say much about how people want to, to you know do things. But from my point of view, being positive is the best. It isn't like banjo. I also having done some music that has negative content before. No, but growing up, growing up. And then getting to this level of my music, you know, let me say, after making that decision like a few years back, I realized that positivity was the way forward. It was the best way to go. Okay. So, so it's, if it's... some time ago, I have also been able to do some negative music. Mm -hmm. And then today I've come to realization that no, that is not the way to go. I should be able to go positive. I should be able to uplift my people. I should be able to tell them something that will make them better people. Then I think maybe all of some of these mainstream artists, who are doing music that is not helping the system should also wake up one day or should wake up soon and say, yo, the people are already following us. So if we say they should go this way now, they will go that way. If that is the case, then that, let's make the society better with the music that we are putting out today. Let's start doing more uplifting music, more educative music, more conscious music, and it will work to make the system better. Rastafari. And where the people them can find you, we kind of run out of time. Where them can find you, forget your music. Where them can find you, forget bookings and so on, Banjoi. Yes, I'm my lad. The name is still Banjoi, B A N J U I, on all social media platforms Instagram, um, um, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. And the, the music is, is, on, is on all of the play on, on the stores, um, digital stores iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, just name them. Just banjo and you'll get all of my music in the stores to be able to get the copy. Now, if you want to get to me directly, maybe via phone or on WhatsApp, um, the management number to call is plus 233-244-290-997 plus Two three three two four four two nine zero nine nine seven. That is the number to call. Blessed my Lord. Yes, I yes, Banjo. I thank you very much, my general, enough you know, for really taking the time. You know what I mean? For um dep on the Give program thanks, today. Man. It's been a great honor, my brother. And more on the eye to continue to do what you do, you know what I mean? Continue to make positive music. Um, positive reggae music. You're doing it very well, you know what I mean? Trust me, you're doing it very well in general. Zane, so I'm more Give love, thanks, my lad. more strength, Zane, until Give we thanks. meet in the flesh, Bless. my lad. Zane? Blessings, blessings, I just, uh, blessings, I'm like live radio. Big up everybody listening to me out today right now. My name band, right? Blessings, blessings, blessings every time. Up, up, up. Stay positive, always. Bless up. Yeah man, there you have it, Banjo Eye. Straight out of Ghana, our special guest today. We are one step ahead. One step ahead of them. And we know how we do. Alright, it's Amlak Life Radio. So they got Toyota, they are the men of surprise, are the truth, are the truth. Right. We they are one step ahead and we know how we do. We don't look back and wish one of you on day. Check me out next Wednesday. Check me out next Monday. We don't look back. Not look back. Yeah, man, we're there with um, the spotlight. Oh.
Spotlight Our Africa. Can no respond for not. Yeah, man. Flaming Monday. Yes, I am. See them time next Wednesday, 7 till 10. We have armed um, the mindset program and all the thing. Because we know the roots and we tag the truth. So more love, more strength. Thank you all for tuning in. The neighborhood. When me boss me gun and me break the rule. Still me know the run from the good. We day I want to step ahead and we not reverse. We not look back and wish for nothing on some day I want to step ahead. One step ahead of them. Reverse. I just start I'm like Life Radio. Not look back. Mindset program. We not reverse. Anas and manners. Look back and wish for nothing on some day I want to step ahead.